I think the Three Gorges Dam will look like this at the moment. Rightio, it is Wednesday the 16th of March 2022. My name is James, welcome along to the channel. Welcome to all the subscribers, welcome to the Patreon members, welcome to the members of the YouTube channel, welcome to the non-subscribers and welcome to everyone. Now, why did I show these pictures at the very beginning with a green screen of rain and thunder? Because one, we can't get any images of the Free Gorges Dam at the moment and Two, there is heavy rain according to weather forecasts along the Yangtze Basin, not just the Three Gorges, near enough from Chongqing, west of the Three Gorges, all the way to Shanghai. And let's have a look at that right now. Okay, so you can see there, the hand is by the Three Gorges and over the next day, near enough, up to Thursday, is just going to be some heavy rain going from west to east. And the millimetres are quite high, anywhere between 10 to 24. Early rain, early possible floods this year. Then it goes comparatively dry, dry as a bone. So no April showers in March. But I do believe a little bit later on, if I remember the forecast correctly, it does appear again. Here it is, getting to quite high millimetres of rain, and that is on Monday of next week. So there we go. There is the forecast new enough for five So what days. you may be thinking is, what are the levels like? Well, I'm happy to show you. Kutan is at 166.99. That has gone up, and I could say that is because of the rain. The Free Gorges has gone down at 165.48. The inflow of 6,002 outflow is down again at 6,810. So it is dropping by about 25 to 40 centimeters a day. Are these sluice gates open or are they just like releasing water and generating more electricity, trying to get down to that level of 145 which is the safety level before the rain start in 2022 but guess what it feels like the rains have already started in 2022 sometimes it's good to get up close and personal with the free gorges and just to remind ourselves on, on things that we have covered in the past these ones I'm just referring to are cracks again. Now, I'm not too sure when these images were taken, but you can see here that you don't even need to look close to see of the shoddy workmanship on that picture there. Here, you can see another picture, and is I think this is the back of the dam, and you can just see that it's just not very well maintained. Here is the crazy thing, and I did show this picture um, possibly this time last year. I really can't remember to be exact, but you can see these little mini elevators going up and down the backside of the dam, the reservoir side of the dam. Now, are these construction workers filling in the cracks? Are these construction workers or engineers cleaning or expecting the dam when the levels are low. Obviously, this is not an a up-to-date picture, but again, if we go into, you can get even closer, you can see that they have these cranes that go basically up and down. And how do you think the workers get to work at the Free Gorges? Well, I can guess they will do this. So, it looks like it's going to be a wet season for the Yangtze River, and I can predict, maybe totally wrong, but I can predict more serious problems are going to come along at 2022. If this is March, and we're already having relatively heavy rains already. But in the past, it's been the complete opposite. And here is a picture, just one simple picture, of the Free Gorges, or sorry, the Yangtze River, when they had the drought. This was done in 2010, so this is 20, sorry, 12 years ago. But this is what dams do. 
your taming or trying to tame wild mother nature and wild mother nature will always act back one way or another and this was them telling you you shouldn't have built these ridiculously inconvenient useless dams let rivers run normal and this was a drought way back in 2010 what could the free gorge dam do nothing that, to be honest, is really all I got about the Free Gorgia Dam, but I am going to do some promotional stuff now. On my other channel, you can see a link in the description below. It's called It's All About China. And there's lots of bits and pieces going on. I don't make a lot of videos on that channel, but I just want to show you this, what I found on Twitter, related to some people related to the situation with Russia, Ukraine. And this is how some Chinese people are supporting Russia. Have a look at this. That's just a small snippet. Again, just go to the channel in the link below. It's all about China and you can see the full video of that. Also, I have been trying to keep fit. It doesn't seem to be working very well, but I have been doing exercise most days of the week. And here's a little update for you. And if you want to see the full version of that video, it will be available for members for the next four days. So you're going to get the exclusive preview of that. So members only from the YouTube channel can see that. I know it's very exciting indeed. And that brings us to a close on Wednesday, the 16th of March, 2022. Be good, be safe, be well, be happy wherever you are. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow, God willing, tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless to everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.